muscles of eye, extraocular muscles, and intraocular muscles. Today, we will explore a crucial topic in human anatomy, the muscles of the eye. Let's dive right into it. What are muscles of the eye? The muscles of the eye are divided into two groups, based on their location. These are extraocular muscles, muscles located outside the eyeball. Intraocular muscles, muscles located inside the eyeball. We will discuss them one by one. Extraocular muscles. These muscles are located outside the eyeball, in the bony orbit. Extraocular muscles control the movement of the eyeball and are responsible for directing the gaze. They are skeletal muscles, that means they are under voluntary control. So they are responsible for voluntary eye movements. The eye has six extraocular muscles responsible for its movement. These include for recti muscles and two oblique muscles. These six extraocular muscles are superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, lateral rectus, superior oblique, inferior oblique. Let's look at their specific functions. Superior rectus moves the eye upwards, that is, it elevates the eye. Inferior rectus moves the eye downwards, that is, it depresses the eye. Medial rectus moves the eye inward, towards the nose. Thus, it moves the eye medially. Lateral rectus moves the eye outward, that is, laterally, towards the temple. Superior oblique depresses the eye, and rotates the eye inward, in torsion. Inferior oblique elevates the eye, and rotates the eye outward, extortion. Next group of muscles is intraocular muscles. These muscles are located inside the eyeball. Intraocular muscles are responsible for internal adjustments of the eye, like focusing vision by adjusting the lens, accommodation, and regulating pupil size to control the amount of light entering the eye. They are smooth muscles, that means they are not under voluntary control. So they are responsible for involuntary eye functions, like accommodation. The eye has three intraocular muscles. Two muscles are responsible for regulating the pupil size. And one muscle controls the lens. The three intraocular muscles are sphincter pupillae, dilator pupillae, ciliary muscle. Let's look at their specific functions. Sphincter pupillae. This muscle constricts the pupil, causing meiosis, thus reducing the amount of light entering the eye. Dilator pupillae. This muscle dilates the pupil, causing midriasis, allowing more light to enter the eye. Ciliary muscle. This muscle is responsible for controlling the shape of the lens, which allows for focusing on objects at different distances. This muscle changes the lens's shape, enabling the eye to focus on near or far objects. This process is called accommodation. Thank you for your attention.